Okay, let's uh, put in the most absolute simple terms possible. Now I have mentioned in countless videos that there is a tremendous difference between two different types of magnetism. Well, I don't know, magnetism is magnetism, right? I don't know. Is that the same as saying that water that's coming out of a fireman's hose is the same type of water that's uh, going down a drain? The type of magnetism that exists at the centrifugal edge of this magnet is wholly unlike the type of magnetism that exists here in the central part. If you take a, uh, a Gauss meter, you'll actually notice a high Gaussian flux along the centrifugal edge and there will be an intermediate zone here and then it will be high again right here in the center but flux only tells you flux you could say you have X amount of flux pouring out of a hose and X amount of flux that's pouring down a drain but it doesn't tell you whether it's actually pouring down a drain or whether it's coming out of a hose as far as a gauss meter is concerned let's take a look at the sand in this hourglass let's make things real simple by the way this shape which actually if you draw it out as an infinity symbol is a hyperboloid which by the way is the uh, actual trans euclidean geometry of counter space and the plane of inertia okay here we have sand in the hourglass i think we all know how an hourglass works right Okay. Let's turn it upside down and use this as an analogy for magnetism. We actually have sand actually sucking down right here. It's being accelerated towards this direction due to gravity, of course. But let's ignore that fact. And then we have sand that's actually pouring out here. What's the difference between the sand here and the sand coming out right here? Nothing. Is there any difference between the flow rate here and the flow rate here? No. Both of these are the exact same sand. Both of these have the same flux rate. And our magnetism analogy, correct? Yeah, okay. We have x, x units of flux coming down here like water down a drain. We have x units of flux exactly the same coming out. Okay. So what's the difference? We've got the same flow rate, the same flux rate. We have the exact same stuff, quote unquote, the sand. What the hell is the difference? What the hell is the difference here? What do you mean by two different types of magnetism? I don't know. What the hell do I mean about two different types of sand? They're both the exact same sand, but both have them. Both of them have completely different attributes. I showed you yesterday using a simple piece of aluminum foil how the aluminum foil if it gets exposed to the centrifugal edge here it is repelled if it is placed directly against it and I shake it or I can lift it up up off of a flat surface or if I place it on here it will be held here it is repelled here but it is attracted here it is force in motion here and inertia and acceleration here. Inertia and acceleration here, force and motion here. Same analogy. Isn't Mother Nature difficult? Isn't Mother Nature really complicated? When you get down to it, absolutely not. If I can't make an analogy simpler than this, then it doesn't get any simpler than this flow, two different types of flow, force and motion, inertia and acceleration. Then don't take the analogy too far. Don't take the hourglass analogy too far, okay? We're talking about two different types of flow. This is we're talking about two different types of flow on our magnet. Here we have the fire hose flow, if you will, the force and motion. And here we have the drain, the water down the uh, bathtub drain flow. Got the exact same Gaussian flux here as we do here. Well, if they're the same and they're both magnetism, there can't be a difference. Well, sorry about that. There sure as hell is a difference. Just as there's a difference between this vacuum acceleration here and this force in motion outburst here. 
They're both sand. They're both the same flux level. So what's the difference? What's the difference between getting hit in the face with a fire hose of water and standing over top of a gigantic drain plug that is, let's say you're in a huge, a huge uh, swimming pool and there's a huge plug at the bottom which doesn't exist and someone will pull that plug and then you start spinning around and around and around and around and whoosh. So what the hell is the difference between getting shot in the face with a fire hose of water and being in a pool where a giant drain plug has been pulled and it's the same flux rate it's the same stuff quote unquote magnetism both of them are water what's the difference completely different qualities I demonstrated this before used showing you the centrifugal action on aluminum and the centripetal action on aluminum and they say aluminum is paramagnetic. Mother Nature doesn't buy into humankind's bullshit of diamagnetic and paramagnetic and ferromagnetic. Mother Nature is a hairy armpit chick in a hemp robe that walks around with muddy feet. She only understands two things. Force and motion and inertia and acceleration. Everything works off of pressure mediation pressures that are mediated. What does pressure mediation mean? It means if you pour water on the side of a hill it's going to flow downhill. It's as simple as that. Mother Nature doesn't use a calculator. She doesn't use math. Everything is a pressure mediation. If I can't make it simpler than this, then it's impossible. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Catch you later.